once significant genetic differences have accumulated between two populations, such as chromosomal differences, whether they be differences in chromosome number or in chromosome structure, such as translocations and inversions, it becomes increasingly unlikely that hybridization between these two populations will produce healthy, fertile offspring. If that is the case, individuals of each population are better served mating within their population rather than hybridizing between populations since their offspring would be less likely to survive and all of the energy that they exerted in defending a territory or in producing eggs or in caring for their young all of this would essentially be wasted because their offspring might die or at least be less likely to survive. So, natural selection often favors isolating mechanisms, things which will reinforce the separation between populations. Ultimately, one can recognize different populations as distinct because of color variations or differences in courtship songs or courtship behaviors. There might be different pheromonal characteristics. Such changes allow individuals to distinguish between members of different populations. If those who hybridize are at a disadvantage because their offspring are less likely to survive, natural selection would reinforce any mechanism which further isolated populations, such as restricting mating or courtship to individuals with the same color pattern or the same pheromones or the same courtship song or courtship behaviors. This would then maximize the number of genes which one would transmit to the next generation.